This video explains the changes made to the Rightboot sharing station in version 7.7.17 or later. Now before I show you the changes, I need to show you how it worked in earlier versions. So I've got version 7.7.16 here and let's take a look at how it actually works in this version. So if I play this sharing station, the start screen has got a video sequence item which is showing you all the videos in the watch folder for this sharing station event. And if I click to go to the next screen, you will notice that all of the video thumbnails in the media browser are all identical. Now the reason for that is that Windows automatically creates thumbnails and I'm using the same thumbnails in Rightbooth. So if I look at the actual folder now, which is here, the sharing station one folder you can see that all of the videos have got the same thumbnails now the reason for that is because these videos have been video enhanced by right booth with an intro so the intro is identical on all of these videos and unfortunately windows creates thumbnails from the first few frames of each video so you're going to get exactly the same thumbnail for each one so it's difficult to tell the difference between them and therefore the same follows through into the media browser in Rightbooth. So this is not ideal for people that come to the sharing station to try and find their videos. Obviously if I select one, then you see the video. But I hope you can tell that the problem is that at this stage you've got no idea which video is which. So, what I'll do now is I'll move on to Rightbooth 7.7.17 to show you the changes that have been made. Okay, so I'm now running Rightbooth 7.7.17. It's exactly the same sharing station event. Let's play it and see what the differences are. So it's the same start screen. Let's go on to the next screen. And as you can see now, we have different thumbnails. Much easier to tell. So let me just task switch to Windows Explorer. Now if you notice, there's a, a new folder that's appeared. There are some other files here. These are the uh, HTML files for downloading for the QR codes for the two videos that I've just looked at. But there's also this THM folder. If I look in here, Rightbooth has automatically created a thumbnail JPEG image for each of the videos and it's taken the middle frame from each of the video files so it's halfway through the video file for each one of these so you're guaranteed to get a unique and individual frame from each of the video files and that's a difference between how Rightbooth is doing it and how Windows actually creates the video thumbnails. Another change, let's go into the editor, go on to the media browser screen. If I double click this browser item we get the media browser files panel and now it's possible to show file names so let's just tick this click OK and as you can see it's put the video file names on the thumbnails Now we can change that text go to properties and down here we've got text properties so I can make the text bigger for instance I can make it bold and I can position it anywhere I like on the thumbnail so these are subtle changes but I hope you can see that they are important changes for your guests because when they come back to the sharing station it will allow them to easily identify their videos for selection and download with QR codes. So thanks for watching.